Chapter 4 Interior of the Earth For hundreds of years, man has been curious about what lies below the surface of the earth. In order to satisfy this curiosity, studies have been conducted on earthquakes and the material ejected out of volcanoes. Besides these, studies related to temperature, density as well as gravitational force have also helped our understanding of the interior of the earth. In this chapter, we shall try to get some information about the interior of the earth. The characteristics of the materials found from the surface to the center of the earth vary considerably. The crust, the mantle and the core are the three division parts of the interior of the earth. They are identified on the basis of the characteristics of the materials. See figure 4.1. The outermost layer is formed of solid rocks. It is called the crust. The division below the crust is called the mantle. The crust and a portion of the mantle adjacent to it are together called the lithosphere. The lithosphere is about 100 kilometers thick. The division below mantle is called the core. See figure 4.1. The crust. The thickness of the crust is not uniform. It is about 40 kilometers under the continent whereas it is about 8 kilometers below the oceans. In the mountainous regions like the Himalayas, it is up to about 70 kilometers. The average thickness of the crust is 30 kilometers. The two parts of the crust are given below. CL The upper portion of crust is called CL. The rocks in this layer have predominance of silica and aluminium. As these elements are lighter in weight, they are found in the upper layer of the crust. Most of the continents are formed out of CL. The layer is thicker in the continental portion than in the oceanic portion. Sima The layer below CL is called Sima. Most of the oceanic base is formed out of this layer. The rocks in this layer consist of the compounds of silica and magnesium. This layer is heavier than Sial. The mantle. The layer below the crust is called the mantle. The thickness of this layer is about 2870 kilometers. It consists of the compounds of iron and magnesium. The rocks in the upper 100 to 200 kilometer of the mantle melt due to heat. Due to the magma created in this layer, magma chambers are formed in this part. When the magma reaches the surface through volcanic activity, it is called lava. The core. This layer lies below the mantle and has a thickness of 3471 kilometers. It is subdivided into two parts called the outer core and the inner core. The outer core is in liquid state while the inner core is in the solid state. This layer contains heavy and hard substances. The inner core predominantly comprises nickel and iron. Hence, it is also called nifay. Changes occurring from the surface to the center of the earth. The center of the earth is located at a distance of 6,371 kilometers from its surface. From the surface to the center, certain changes occur in the interior of the earth. They are as follows. Number 1. The process of cooling of the earth started from the surface. In the interior of the earth, the temperature is higher. Hence the temperature rises towards the core. This increase in temperature generally takes place at the rate of 1 degree Celsius per 32 meters of the depth. This means that though the surface is cool, the core is very hot. 
the temperature at the center of the earth is estimated to be 5000 degrees celsius number 2 the density of the material increases towards the center. Number 3. The primary waves of earthquake can travel through all the layers of the interior. However, while traveling through the core, their direction changes. The secondary waves cannot travel through liquid medium. The outer core is in liquid state. Therefore, these waves cannot travel through it. The study of earthquake waves has helped in determining the different layers of the interior of the earth and their boundaries. There exist considerable differences in the temperature, density and state of the materials in the interior of the earth. These differences give rise to a number of movements. This indicates that the interior of the earth is unstable.